Hi there, Jamie Keat here today at Teachers Tech. Hope you're having a great day today. Today I want to show you Canva 2.0. So if you haven't used Canva before, this is a great app to make some professional looking designs graphically. You can start with templates that they have that look great and it's easy to adjust with colors and fonts and shapes and pictures on it. Uh, if I use this at work quite a bit for making things like posters or even infographics. I've used it on my YouTube channel before to make things like thumbnails or channel art. So there's so many different ways that you can use this. I show this to a lot of teachers so that they can create easy graphics for the classroom or even to emails to parents home or update their Facebook pages so many different options on this so I'm gonna go through uh, just some basics of Canva it won't take you to uh, if you haven't seen this before it won't take you very long to master this this is a very easy program so let's get started here today with Canva 2.0 So I'm just gonna go ahead and get logged in with my account, but if you don't have an account, just choose right here which, uh, what profile works the best for you, and you can start uh, creating your account, works very easy. I'm gonna log in right up top here. I'm gonna log in with my Gmail account, with my Google account, and once I'm in, all the different things I've worked on in the past uh, are there. Right now I'm actually in 1.0, and I'm gonna switch over. You can see where it says Explore Canva 2.0. I'm just gonna go ahead and click on that, and it just kind of gives me some information about how it's going to be uh, it works faster a little bit of sleeker design to it and just that kind of a new feel new look to it that uh, just a little bit more pleasing to work with and now once I'm into 2.0 you can see all my things are still there in the past what I'm going to do is start right away by just working from a template just showing you how quickly and how easy it is to change one I'm going to do something with an infographic so I'm just going to type in uh, infographic here I'm going to choose this and I'm going to be shown a lot of different templates on the left here and you can see which ones are free here and I'm just going to use a free one and we'll just pick this one right here so it's ready to start editing so now I can put in the things that I want this is what I use that work quite a bit if I need an infographic I find a layout I like then I go ahead and I just make changes just by clicking on it if I click on where the font is here with the title you can see I can quickly if I wanted a different font I could go through and just select a different font to it if I wanted to write something I could just put I'm just going to put title up here and you've started changing it already I can change the color of this font by just simply uh, selecting the color and you can see all the different options from size from spacing all the way through here if I click on the background somewhere you can see right here I can adjust the colors quickly to something else on it so I don't have to stick with the same colors the templates have I can quickly go through add my information uh, if I especially when you like the layout this makes things just so fast to do I can even edit the images that they have so if I click on this image uh, right in here you can see if I go through I can change if I let's say I'll go to the blue you can see I just changed the heart blue so even the images you can adjust the color now when you get everything the way you want uh, maybe you could even want to move things around you can see if once I get the move tools I can move different ones to different places on this one I can even make copies of different parts of this if I wanted if I had something and if I wanted to copy down I can delete by just simply uh, deleting everything on here once it's selected just hit the delete key now when you're done what do you do with it you get these different options that you can go to share right here and you can work with other people on this so that's a great thing when you're just sharing back and forth to see the different do documents especially if you're in the work setting uh, and you can just see what the other person's doing and there's also the publish so I could go through and download this here so if I hit download you can see the different file types I can go through whether PNG JPEG PDF standard PDF print on this depending what you need so I'm just going to go back uh, over to publish and just to show you a few other different things present well I'll just show you in a moment here I'll open up a where you can make a presentation and actually present right within Canva but take a look at all these other things that you can publish to you have so many different options on this one uh, so now what happens this is saved automatically if I go back to home now uh, what happens is my design it's generating a preview right here so then at any time I can just click on any of these things here and I can start editing uh, the one that I have before so right now it's still generating but if I click on this one it's going to go back 
to the exact one. So I could log on to different devices and see all the different things that I've worked on before. Take a look at the custom dimensions. So if I go ahead and click on this one, I could choose from pixels, in, uh, inches, millimeters, centimeters on this one. I'm gonna stick with pixels and I'm just gonna make a square 600 pixels by 600 and create new. And I have a blank 600 by 600 square to work from. I could so easily pick one of these and go into uh, one of the templates that they showed me and just start ar arranging things just like the infographic making changes. Or I could start from the scratch or from scratch. And if I click on elements, I can look at all the different things I can add uh, to this. So if I wanted maybe an icon like this light bulb, I could click on it. It's there. I can resize it. I could place it somewhere else. I can rotate it. I can even change the color like I showed you before on this one. So if I wanted a purple, like so. If I click on it, you can see I can crop or flip it on these ones so I can make these adjustments to crop it or to flip it depending on which way you want it. There's lots of pictures, free pictures that you can choose from on this one. Notice that I put this on top. Maybe you want the light bulb on top. If I click on the light bulb and go to position, I can bring this forward. So it makes a difference on which one you want on top. Just go to the position of it uh, so you can do that. Uh, another thing I want to show you that you can bring in in a hurry is the text. And all these things I can make the adjustments on the template when I was showing you the infographic before. I can bring new images in, new icons and all these things. So I, I like this because I can start with a kind of a template of text so I can go through all these different ones and if I see something uh, that I like I can go ahead and click on it. So if I was going to pick uh, maybe this one and now I'll put it up here so you can see it a little bit better. I can resize this by grabbing it and I'll put it in the middle. So this is where you can make, I'm gonna delete this light bulb. You can make these posters very quickly using the template, but I can go through now and make my, uh, so if I was, I'm just gonna put my name on here. I could easily fill out this uh, in any way that I want and I can go back and change my colors again and make all the adjustments to this that I need. So starting from scratch is a great way to do this. Again, it's going to get saved back to the main point here. Even if you want to upload your own information, you can see I have an upload feature right here and these are different things I've uploaded in the past but you can upload just simply hit upload an image and it's going to go from your computer and you'll upload it and you'll have it in here so and then you can just place them on your um, on your document that you're working on if I go back to home you'll be able to see now this one is generating a preview here if you ever don't want any of these, if you just uh, have opened up some and they're just kind of junk, notice as I hover over, you have these three little dots here. Just click on it and you can see move to, you can move to folder. You can organize these in folders if you want or move to trash or make a copy of it. I'm gonna move this one to trash and it's gone. You can see on the other side where I can uh, organize my folders if I created my folder. So if things, right now I'm not using any folders, but you can organize them, create them, and put things maybe for different work purposes just to get a little bit uh, just faster when you're trying to find things. Now I did want to show you the presentation too. Uh, I'm going to click on this one since I know it's right here. I'm not going to do much to this, but besides added some pages to this, I'm just going to use, uh, I'm going to use, which one I'm gonna use. I'm gonna go ahead and click on this one. You can see there's a bunch of an example. So this would be the title slide on here. This shows that there's some uh, the licensing I would have to purchase on this one if I wanted to use this, uh, where you'd have that option of paying a dollar if there was a certain picture on it, or you could change it to something else that you had. But I'm gonna go ahead and add new page at the bottom here. And I'm just gonna pick a few different ones. I'm gonna hit add new page again through here. So I can go through and make all the different changes that I want through here like I've showed you before and when you're ready you could be logged in to your uh, uh, logged into your Canva and you go ahead and hit present and you get you can even do transitions between some of them so if I wanted maybe uh, we'll just do a slide you can see on the click I'll just do it through on this one and I can, I'm just gonna leave this. You can see if I wanted to pay for those ones, I could do there. So if you had that set up on your account, I'm just gonna go to preview. And now 
as I click, I have this presentation. So it's a great way to make presentations. And like I said before, if I hit escape, I can get out. Maybe you want to share this with somebody you're working with and you can edit it together so you can get multiple people uh, editing your work. So that's just a little run through of uh, Canva 2.0. It's a great, as I said, I use it quite a bit. Uh, it's great for work or even for my YouTube channel. I like how everything is cloud pay, cloud based and saved in there. This can save you a lot of time making some great looking uh, media stuff, for whether I said for your classroom or for your work YouTube channel. So I hope you like this little walkthrough today. And as I said, just start playing, make a free account, start playing with Canva. And I think you're really going to like this. Thanks for watching this week and I'll see you next time on Teacher's Tech.